Welcome back to another VFX tutorial and this time I wanted to show you a very powerful thing which is kind of important to understand and this is an overlay technique which you can do with surfaces and this is not for the whole screen just for single objects and it's super powerful and saves you lots of lots of time believe me I tried that with sprite do that to sprites and it was just a horror so <laughs> if you want to know how to do this in game maker studio and some extra tips about pixel art stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky sauce and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you are new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i try to upload every second day every day a uh, video and share my stuff because I want to spread to the world and grow and eat all the small channels. So let's get right into the good stuff because it is not too terribly difficult to understand, at least from the logic. So this idea I kind of took away from this channel. So this is just basically the same code, don't want to say anything. That's all mine, but I wanted to do it a little bit more fancy schmancy because what he's doing, this is of course pretty uh, good. He's just saying, hey, you have a sprite, then you have an overlay, and how can you actually do and combine them into one? Very effective, so kudos to you. But um, I guess he missed a little bit the point that this thing is super powerful and you can actually enhance it for some really fancy schmancy stuff, which I'm gonna show you now. And the last thing is, Let's say, for example, you want to uh, know something about pixel art or you are a beginner or you want to have some professional insights. I have a channel for you, which is great by this guy, Pedro Maideros from Spain or Portugal. I guess I'm not sure one of those because <laughs> Spanish people in Portuguese, not always the best friends. So <laughs> I'm not sure about this, but still, um, he does really cool stuff, so if you're looking for, let's say, some inspirations, let's say how you can do some pixel art and something like this, and he has tons of those GIFs where you can just check out how things are done, and if you want need to have some extra inspiration, this guy is just a gold mine. Just check it out, and of course, if you want to support him, do it. So. How can we actually do the first thing, which is this overlay? This is not too terribly um, difficult to do. Let's say, for example, what I did here, I have nothing, 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 and then a uh, line. The line is getting a little bit thicker, then it's almost in the middle, it's definitely getting thicker, then we have a big line, and then the same, just mirrored, smaller, and then nothing, and then boom, and it flashes. And for example, if you play it, pew, really really cool stuff of course you can do this diagon in a diagonal fashion looks pretty nice as well or you can have a fill up which is this just i guess my laziest sprite of all and you can do this in photoshop so what i just did here bam 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 um, one line second line did it did it and then just save it as a png and then here we go so this is the magic which i did here not too terribly uh, difficult to do of course patrons get all the sprites and the project uh, free but the rest i guess you can do this by yourself in 10 15 minutes this is not a big issue in my opinion so let's start with our thing which we just put into the room so we killed you and go with our new object it has a sprite assigned and for now we need to do a little thing which is kind of important. First of all, we need to have a surface. So we have a variable which we call surf. Set it to minus one because well, we haven't initialized it. Then we need to make kind of a fake cycling through image indexes. And how can we do this? Well, I have an alarm at five. And then I reset it. Let's go for five uh, steps as well. And then it will reset all the time. So this is looping. And then I have a index cycle you can actually go for an x da, 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 da. so let's go in here index cycle bam 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 and then what do we do um we cycle through our indexes and this will just go between 0 and 13 why 13 because i will use this one here and here it just goes into well 
14 frames, so zero is counting too, so 13, and bam, and then it resets. And this is what I want to do, easy peasy. So let's go in here and kill that, so you just understand those two variables. And then we need to do the regular stuff, which are surfaces. So first of all, we need to check if a surface does exist. If you are unsure with surfaces, I have a easier tutorial for you, link in the description below. If not, well, we can go for uh, <laughs> for this thing because I'm gonna just go quickly over it. So first of all, we need to so the, create the surface if there's none there. So the first step would be bam, we don't have one, create it, and then we need the width and the height. And this is of course taking the width and the height of our object, so the sprite which we have assigned. So this is automatically um, well, as, um, adapting to the thing which we are having and then well, we, we can actually uh, forget the, this code after this because it has no issues, it will always adapt. And of course we need to set our target to the surface which is surf, yay. Then we draw actually ourselves which is sprite index, image index, so we're just taking the stuff from the thing which we have assigned, no problem. But here we go to sprite x offset and y offset. I could go for zero and zero and it would work because our thing is assigned, um, well, aligned to the top left. But if you're having different ones, you need to have this. So let's go, what is this? This is just taking, taking this. Um, if you are stretching your image, then uh, it would uh, adapt to it and this is to, this is kind of important for you. So this is just getting the, your specific position. So just keep that in mind, of course, if you're top left aligned, zero, zero, and you are fine. Then we draw our overlap thing. Do we? Yes, we do. And this could be, for example, uh, now let's go for the easier one. Let's start easy. So we are just drawing this overlay, bam. And because we want to cycle, we just take our image and put it in here, yay. And then for example, for now it wouldn't be doing anything because let's say we started like this, you will see that we're having our sprite and another thing which is drawing over it, of course, ooh, yeah. Um, if we are creating a surface, Let's see if, th if this does work. And as you can see, it looks terrible. <laughs> as you can see now, that's not where we want to have it because it's dra drawing at the X and Y. This is of course terrible. We don't want this and therefore we need to have our surface uh, played out correctly. And therefore we need to have it reset and we need to draw it. And now you will see that it is at a specific position where we actually positioned it. So here, and now it is drawing over it, but it doesn't look too good. As you can see those white spaces, what the hell is that one up in the, I don't want this. How can we actually avoid it? Well, quite easy. If you have watched my uh, tutorial about um, chromatic aberration, then you maybe already know what's happening. So basically, we we say GPU set color right enable. That thing is just checking, hey, you can disable your red, green, blue. So this is how you get your colors. And then the alpha, this is just how transparent this. So these channels, you can enable and disable. And here we disable the alpha channel. Then of course, we need to enable it again. So everything at one. And now you will see that it is just drawing over the places which have a color and as you can see already works pretty sweet so this is a pixel art blinking animations something something doesn't really matter how you call it looks good but of course if you want to have it a little bit more fancy schmancy you want to have some nuance then we kill this part and make draw sprite stretched why i do use this one because now I want it to be aligned at our zero, zero position of our surface and then the sprite width and height. And therefore it will always stretch itself to the well area which we needed. So let's say 25 by 25, then it will stretch to 25 and 25 
yay and of course here you could go with a regular one so stretch without ext but we want to have a nice overlay and then we go for not yellow what kind of color do we use let's go for aqua yeah aqua looks great not really and of course uh, let's go for let's 0.8 as an alpha value and that started again and this is where all the magic is i'm just basically done so if you wanted to know this that was pretty much it oh you don't want why do you not want this is the alpha this is this this okay where do we have our problem Ah, yeah, because I changed the variable. Bam. Let's start it again. My bad. I was just for two seconds a little bit confused. As you can see, it already works. And this is the same what I did here. Of course, here the alpha value, and this is just going diagonally up, is very, very low. So this is a nice subtle effect, or like a punchy effect, which you're seeing here on the button. Or let's say you are loading something, something is being reset, you are building something, or let's say somebody is freezing up. Then you have this cool overlay effect and it is quite versatile and you can use it for lots of lots of great effects. Of course you can actually run some animations which are different to the ones which I'm showing you. So there are different ways you can actually utilize that thing but it is quite powerful. So hopefully that was of interest to you and now you use it for your UI or to save yourself from like what I did, I just had some animations a while and that took just ages. Don't repeat my mistakes, make it easier with the surface. Have a good one. One up indie.